do ba 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 do do ba do 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 a do ba do ba do 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 ba do a do a do ba do ba do a do ba do ba do 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 a do ba do ba do a do ba do ba do 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 ba do a do ba do ba do finally got a new camera so I have gone for the upgrade from the camera that I had previously. So I've gone for the EOS 5D Mark IV. I had the Mark III previously, so I'm hoping this is a little bit of an upgrade. I got this second hand as well, so a little bit cheaper, but still pretty damn expensive. But I'm really hoping that it's gonna be a nice little upgrade and anything is gonna be better than the blurry footage that this camera is currently giving me so let's give it a little go and here it is you can see so much better than that piece of crap but uh yeah very happy with this let's go and test it out in the gym There's a light in the distance calling me. even in the dark when it's hard to Never saying that I've done enough Yeah, the road is rough, but I run it up uh, Undercover, get a couple bucks, man How do you feel, for real? Hit me coming, I build and build Time sharper than a sword, I yield and steal You can never kill the real You know when the skills reveal uh, You know I ain't losing my focus Twisting my fingers, I'm giving emotion Letting my folks know that it's time to roll Let we go whatever we want to uh, It's inevitable Look at the dash, incredible truth What I achieve should make up the news Don't ask where I'm Ah, what is up guys? Welcome to another video. Um, I've had a look over the footage from Monday's training session and I have to say I am very impressed with this camera. So hopefully it has been a worthy investment. Anything would have been better than the camera I was using before anyway with it being all blurry and grainy. But I digress. Today I want to talk about my programming and how it's kind of changed a little bit from when I was doing full power training. So obviously when I was training to do powerlifting competitions, obviously now I'm focusing more on just a single deadlift. So naturally a little bit of programming changes, but the structure of my program hasn't changed in as much as my training days. That's still the same. So I'm still training Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but there's been a few changes. Some things are a little bit um, surprising in as much as they haven't really changed that much. 
Um, that being the bench mainly, so I am still benching. Um, two days a week, I'm just going in and hitting a comfortable single and then doing some push-ups. So still getting some volume in my pecs, um, obviously as my pec allows. And the main reason that for that is just because it's still fun. And I kind of want to have a movement which I'm still enjoying, um, which isn't focused on the deadlift. There's no goal um, with that. I'm not trying to bench X amount of weight. I'm just going in there just to enjoy a bench session. And it doesn't really take too much away from the rest of the program because it's not massively taxing. So surprisingly, I'm still benching. Um, I think the main difference really in the other movements is I'm doubling down on the SSB. So previously, I was doing good mornings with the SSB as an accessory. Now I've scrapped that. And I'm using the SSB twice a week. So Monday, so obviously on Monday I did three sets of two on that. And then on Wednesday, so today, I'm going to go in and hit a single. So varying intensities and varying volumes, but increase in the frequency of the SSB. Just because it is such a good movement to um, help with the deadlift, uh, that there's so much carryover with it, that yeah, doubling down on it just seems like um, a good idea. Um, and obviously it focuses a lot on your quads and your legs. And for me, that is something that I really need to work on, which is another reason why I'm incorporating leg press twice a week and pretty heavy leg press, doing 25 total reps. So five by five on both occasions. And the main reason for that is actually, as a deadlifter, I rely quite heavily on pushing through the floor with my quads because surprisingly, I don't actually have that long arms. I used to think I had really long arms, but actually proportionally, I don't. Um, which means I rely on a little bit of getting my knees over the bar and bringing my quads into play. So if I'm going to sort of um, really get good at deadlifting, I need to utilise that um, and not just rely on being able to anchor the weight up with my posterior chain. So that's something I've noticed with my deadlifts. I do use quite a lot of quad to get the weight off the floor. So we're just really emphasising that with the leg press and the increase in the SSB with the squats. So obviously this is a deadlift only program, uh, so I do need to deadlift at some point in the week and I'm doing that on Friday. So Friday is my designated deadlift day where I'm going in and I'm hitting the main deadlift movement which is with a deadlift bar and straps because that's what I'm going to be doing on the day when I do go for 300 again. So keeping it very specific there and obviously just a sort of traditional linear progression with that. So um, increasing the intensity each week and reducing the volume. So it's kind of like um, a peaking phase I guess um, and an undulated peaking phase because obviously we're going to sort of peak and then reduce that and go up again so um, it's kind of basic programming from that point of view um, and then in terms of variation with my deadlifts today I'm going to be going in and just doing a banded deficit deadlift for volume so not a lot of intensity at all so I think I'm going to work up to something like 82 kilos for two sets of eight and that really is more of a primer for Friday session. So I don't want to fatigue myself at all with deadlifts, but it is also teaching my body to lock out properly because often when I fail a deadlift, it is around the knee. So it's kind of teaching um, to add a little bit of extra resistance when I get above the knee. So that's what the band and the deficit is for. Um, so that's kind of why that is in there. Um, and like I say, it's not very um, demanding for me and it is more of a primer setting me up for Friday. So I just want to go back a minute because I don't think I've really made myself very clear with the deadlifts uh, and how I'm kind of peaking up and undulating and all that sort of stuff. I used, just used a bit of terminology there which kind of doesn't necessarily make sense. But what I'm basically trying to say is obviously I'm going to be building strength to a certain point um, and then bringing it back down again just to bring it back up again. So that's sort of basic programming in as much as managing fatigue. Um, I'm not obviously going to reveal the exact sort of details of my rep ranges, the weight and that sort of thing because first of all it's not relevant to everybody so there's no point just sharing that, it's all kind of relevant to me and where I'm at with my training um, and what my goal is but also it's Matt's programming so I don't really want to reveal the, all the rep ranges and everything like that just because obviously I pay for the programming and his training so um, I don't feel like I should just give it all away online because if anyone wants to try and sort of copy it but um, that's basically the reasons for that but but yeah, it's a fairly simple concept um, which is utilised in most programming which is obviously you have a sort of a phase of training before bringing it down a little bit just to allow for that fatigue management before building back up again um, and that's basically what I'm trying to say. Right, hopefully some of that made sense and it wasn't too waffly uh, but that's kind of an insight into where my programming is at at the moment and what it's steered towards and kind of the methodology behind some of the movements that I'm doing. 
Um, so yeah, that is that. Uh, heading into the gym now, but obviously you would have just seen what I've just done, so hopefully it was a good session. Uh, Matt is actually coming round again for another massage, so we're going to do that, and then once we've had the massage, I'll see you on Friday for some heavy deadlifts. Right then, so there's been a slight change in plan. Matt isn't coming for the massage this evening, or to give me a massage, because he's having some problems with his car. Um, good little session I've just had, you would have seen the footage there. Um, to be honest with you, I feel like I'm sort of back on track. This last sort of couple of weeks, I've really been off it in terms of programming. It's been a little bit scattered and my diet hasn't been great. So getting back in, into the good food. So I've got some pasta with chicken here. Um, yeah, I've literally had way too many like McDonald's and just fast food recently. It's really not been good. So I need to sort of get my focus back on that. But uh, yeah, also I realised, I've just edited the first part of this video and realised there's like a bit of a clicking sound going on with the camera. That's the autofocus. I'm still trying to kind of get used to this new camera. So hopefully I'll get that fixed for next time. I think I need to get like a mic or something just to like channel the audio through me rather than the camera. That's a me problem. I'll sort that out for next time. But yeah, I'm going to smash this and then I'll see you on Friday for some heavy deadlifts. So that concludes another week of training. A nice way to finish it off with a little two by two on the deadlift. Um, I have to say the Texas deadlift bar, which is at the base gym, is really, really nice. It's probably the nicest deadlift bar that I've actually used so far. Um, I didn't think there was gonna be that much variation between deadlift bars, but I have noticed there is actually quite a big difference between a lot of them, especially the one that I used to train on, which is my um, strength shop deadlift bar. I actually thought that was quite good, but it actually turns out now that I've tried a few of them that actually, it's not actually that amazing. So when you actually use a proper uh, expensive deadlift bar, it really shows. So uh, that's a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, I'm continuing to practice with the deadlift bar, so we'll see how that goes over the next few weeks. 
Um, but I hope this video has given you a little bit of insight into my sort of methodology with training at the moment, what I'm trying to do, obviously squatting a lot, a real emphasis on my quads, um, and I kind of talked about why that is, just the type of deadlifter that I am. Um, and that's the same reason why I'm doing a lot of heavy leg press at the moment. And I did talk to Matt about whether I should be going a little bit deeper into my leg press, because I'm kind of, when I leg press, it kind of looks like I'm just working the lockout. And that is essentially what I'm trying to do. So Matt did make the point that I'm not trying to copy my squat form. I am doing it to strengthen my quads, uh, which is ultimately going to carry over to me locking up my deadlift. So that's kind of the rationale behind that. Obviously doing a lot of posterior chain work as well, really getting a strong back. Because I am a, the sort of deadlifter that, although I do try and create the angle for me, for my chest to be a little bit more upright, I do rely quite heavily on my back just because I don't have the longest arms. So that is obviously a big focus there as well. So... That's that. I hope you have sort of yeah taken something from this video. If you want to um, ask any more questions about the uh, methodology of this program, then just drop me a message or message me on Instagram, whatever. But uh, I think I'm going to leave the video here, guys. Obviously, I'm still trying to grow this beard, or not trying to. It is just growing. Obviously, looking rather scruffy at the moment, as I did say that I wasn't going to shave until I pull 300 kilos. So it could be interesting if I actually fail this in December. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I don't grow a very good beard anyway, so it's going to be looking very scruffy. But uh, yeah, it's all a bit of fun. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to sign out the video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please leave it a like if you have. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.